Hey, how are you doing? It's Alan here from Looking for Warriors, and I want to talk about thing and grow rich again. The he talks about he said that he decided to build a guide for success, which is what thing and grow rich is. And he said when he made that decision. Now I'm assuming that decision came it was an inspiration. It came from somewhere. But he said when he made that decision, he had these voices in his head, and we all have voices in our heads. So we're going to talk about the voices in our head today. And some of the voices in our head are really good advice. It's like inspiration. And there's other voices in our head that were put there when we were kids. And he said that one of the voices in his head was saying, well, if a guide for success is such a good idea, why hasn't anyone else done it before? Why hasn't anyone else done it before? And you know, these ideas are implanted in your head when you're a kid, not by... Not by bad people. By people believing they're doing some good, but they're, not, they're putting the wrong ideas in your head. And I've got those voices in my head as well. When I was a kid, I was even questioning some of these things. And one of the voices that I hear in my head now is, I suppose you know better than every scientist in the world. I hope you, I suppose you know better than every expert in the world. And that's implanted in my head. And we've all got these little voices in our head that tell us we can't be successful. We can't do what we're supposed to do. We're not good enough. We've all got these. We've all got these voices. And we've also got the voices that are pushing us on pushing us forward, giving us inspiration. It's about tuning into the right voices. I've got kids now myself and I try, I try to only say positive stuff. When they want to do something, I try to let them know that they can do it, let them know that they're able to do it. But, <laughs> it's a big but, but we've all, lived a life and we've all got knocked. I don't think there's anyone who's not got knocked in their life. Anyone who's lived any kind of any kind of real life has got knocked down over and over and over again. It's very hard not to say, well, you can't do that, no one can do that. I generally don't say that, but sometimes I hear it in my head. <laughs> I stop myself saying it. Because we've all got knocked down. I remember kids, we have these incredible, incredible dreams and these amazing things we want to do. So I'm trying not to be that voice in their head when they get older, because that's where it comes from. It comes from parents or it comes from teachers or it comes even from friends. People around you, maybe kid, put those, put these ideas into your head that you're not good enough, that you can't do it. And it's in there and then it's internal. That is coming from your, your own mind. And it, the issue with that is, don't question things that come from our own mind. We just believe they're true. If we hear them come from our own mind, we don't even question it. It's come from when, when we're adults, and when we're kids, we don't question it. You know, before the age of seven, eight, your mind's completely open for input. And we don't always put the best things, and even I tried to put the best things in. I'm sure I haven't done it perfect either. So we have this internal voice that tells us we can't do it, that we're not good enough. And he talks about it in this book. He says, he says he had this internal voice. He says, well, if creating a guide for success was so good, was such a good thing to do, why hasn't anyone done it before? And my own one, my own important one, I suppose you know better than every expert in the world. But we don't, I don't, and you don't. It doesn't mean you can't have good ideas. It doesn't mean you can't create something different. It doesn't mean you can't put your own dent in the universe, Steve Jobs. Let's say it again, Steve Jobs. The people who created all this stuff are no more intelligent than me. And I can change it. I can mold it. I can create something different. I can create something better. 
I can create something that's better for people's mental health. And it's, so we've got to work on that internal voice and know what voice that we need to ignore and which one we need to hear. And sometimes that voice goes off without you even consciously realizing it and stops you doing stuff. But what I've learned from reading this Think and Grow Rich book is that we've got to get that voice out of, out of our head. We, I just ignore it. You don't even have to get it out of your head. You don't have to do any work. If you know it's there, it falls away. It loses its power. Just know it's there. You don't need to fight it. What you resist persists. You don't need to fight it. Just know it's there. And the power will drop away. It's been Alan here from Look For Warriors talking about that voice in your head that he talked about in Think Grow Rich.